We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, a church you can call home where we honor God, love family, serve others, and we pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all visitors, and all of you joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive and be hungry and be thirsty for more and more of Him. That's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to continue with daily walking with Jesus too. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And you know what? Here's the thing is, He's not finished with you. We'll only be started. Amen. So He's not finished with you. He's got great plans for you. None of them include defeat. Uh -huh. Jim, all we need to do is make ourselves available and know that He wants to use you because yeah. you're special. Why? Because He put you here. Yeah. And He didn't put you here to lose. He put you here to win. Amen. Yeah. But we need to get in this Word and find out what the Word of God says about us. So yes. we can start doing what it says and start pressing and going instead of just laying and being lazy. And we talked last week and we'll continue about the leaky, lazy, oh, yes. part-time Christians, oh, you know. Yes. We don't need any more of them, you know. Oh, I know. We need uh, powerful, powerful, strong, uh, word-minded uh, Christians, you know, that are pressing on for the yes. things of God. And, amen. Yes. So we need some... We need some warriors for God, not warriors. We got plenty of warriors around, you know. We need warriors, you know. That's what God needs. We need warriors. So yeah. see yourself as a warrior that you can do all things through Him who strengthens yeah. you. Amen. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. And a greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. He's calling you to be a winner. He's calling you to be a champion. Yeah. And He's called us to overcome. Amen. Amen. He says, yeah. <clears throat> submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. He'll flee from you. You know, some of us... <clears throat> are holding hands with the wrong person. We're holding hands with the world. We're holding hands with the enemy. We got to let him go. Or we're holding hands, or one hand with, with the enemy and one, way, one hand with God and trying to please both. We can't be world pleasers, man pleasers. We, or we got to be God pleasers. Amen? I mean, that's pretty simple right there. You know, we, we got to please the Father because the world will never please. Man will never please. Amen? So we got to pursue with him and we need him. He knows our direction and which way Amen. we should go. Amen. So praise God. Let's remember this. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So grab your sword, warrior of God. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Praise we God. need a sword. That warriors need their sword. Amen. Yes, the, his word is our sword. Amen. Amen. And let's make this declaration together. Amen. Yes. This is my Bible. Yes. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'm talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit, My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. We need to say that all the time. Amen. Amen. Let's remember, warrior of God. Amen. Yes. So I'm going to read you a nugget I just read to our church, but I want you to uh, hear it also. Those of you watching, those of you listening, listen to this. <clears throat> I had to take you from where you thought you needed to be to a place where you didn't want to be or see. So that you would grow into the person I called you to be. Uh -huh. And he says, bloom where I send you. Mm. Sign God. Oh, Amen. Man. We want to always be in our little comfy zone. Uh -huh. We always want to be in another place. Mm. You know. And he's always <laughs> want to send us to where he needs us. Amen. So let's remember this. <clears throat> he knows what he's called us to be. And if you have a relationship with him, you'll find out right away. And you'll get yes. busy for him. But he says, bloom where I sent you. Yes. You know, we want to go where it's nice and easy. We want to go high and, and take it easy. Huh. No. Bloom where he sent you. Wherever he sent you. You know, and, and uh, what I tell the church all the time, you know, once you leave these four walls, mm -hmm. we go in different directions. Yes, we do. So, you know what? We accomplish more this way because we're his church we're his body yeah. and we go in different directions so we're able to uh, touch more people yeah yeah we do ministry i told the church ministry is people mm -hmm. and everywhere you go guess what there's people yeah so you can reach people yeah. this way but they need to see the love and compassion flowing through you yeah. you're the closest thing to a bible some people will see or hear or be around yeah okay so Ooh, watch your words, watch your actions, because people are watching. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And you know them jealous people, they're going to let you know right away <laughs> if you if you come short. They're going to let you know immediately. Yeah. So we're going to continue with daily, daily, daily walking with Jesus. 
We are to stay hungry and thirsty for more of Him. Father, fill me to overflow. Let my cup run over. Know Him as you fellowship with Him. Not only know about your God, know your God. How does this come? It comes through relationship. Amen. It doesn't call. It doesn't call for a part-time believer. It calls for a full-time believer. Mm -hmm. How do you get to know your Father? Mm -hmm. You get to know Him by having full-time relationship with Him, and that's what He wants. He's a jealous God. He don't want you doing all these other things and going somewhere else and then just showing up at the last minute and say and make demands on a full-time God mm. when you're not even being a full-time Christian oh, boy. or a full-time child of God. Come oh, on now. Oh. You still love pastor? <laughs> John 10, 27. We're going to review a few little things here. Uh -huh. But it says, John 10, 27, King James says, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Yeah. Amen. Not only that, if you open your Bibles, we did that last week, and we'll do it again. Yeah. Open your Bibles to Psalms 23. Yeah. We all know that, Psalms 23. But it's okay. Open it up. Let's read it together. Amen. We, we know why? Because we read the Word, and we teach from the Word of God. Amen. So what does your say? Mine says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in a path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. For thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. We got to keep that cup running over. Amen. Not all the time. Surely goodness and mercy. Uh -huh. shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. We're going to daily seek our shepherd, you know, because we're his sheep. We're his lambs, you know, and he's our shepherd. So seek him. He knows best for us. Amen. Woo, praise God. Thank you, Lord. We have another scripture for you. Oh, thank you, Carmen. She had it up there. So yo, those of you watching, those of you <laughs> listen, uh, it's on the, on the screen for you. Keep going. Talking about walking with God. One more. Amen. There we go. Walking with God. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8 in the Amplified. I'll read it to you from the Amplified. It says, He has told you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you except to be just and to love and be diligently practicing kindness, mm -hmm. compassion, and to walk humbly with Him, setting aside any overblown sense of importance or self-righteousness. Come on now. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. So, you know, as I told the church last week, one of the greatest problems in, in the church today is we've lost our daily walk. Mm -hmm. We've lost our hunger and our thirst for God. We need, we need, we need to correct this. We need to get this straight, amen. Yeah. Because He wants us, and, and, and He's called us. But we need to correct this and start walking with Him. Start hungering for Him. Start thirsting for more of Him. Our desire is to stir your hunger and thirst for God, that you would seek Him all with all your heart, uh -huh. as your daily, as you daily walk with Him, amen. Yeah. So let's remember this. Whew, hallelujah. I'm blessed already. Second Corinthians uh, 1, 6 and 7 says this. Therefore, I remind you to stir your gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. So, you know, there's if you turn in uh, the world, you'll hear from, from TV news, you'll hear from radio, you'll hear from uh, newspaper, from media, anywhere. You'll hear nothing but negative things. So much killing, so much negative things going on all over the world. And if you don't renew your mind with the Word of God and have a relationship with Him, man, you'll go crazy. And if you if you just give it up, you can just join, you'll you'll join Him. Uh -huh. Amen. But we gotta stay full. We gotta stay hungry and thirsty and keep ourselves full to overflowing. Amen. Amen. Overflowing in the things of God. Amen. Amen. David was a man after. It says had uh, God's own heart, uh -huh. but he stayed hungry. God alone can satisfy our hunger. Uh -huh. Amen. God can satisfy your hunger. If you're not hungry for God, you know, you're going to be hungry for the world. Yeah. And, and, and you're either one or the other. You're either hungry for God or you're hungry for the world. And if you start going the world's way, guess what? Enemy's going to have you. Yeah. Amen. He's coming. 
It says, submit yourself to God, resist him, and he'll flee from you. Yeah. But if you're not resisting, uh -huh. if you're just doing casual, you know, if you're just being that casual, part-time Christian, he's going to have you because oh, yeah. you're not renewing your mind, you're not feeding on the word, and you're going to start walking, and the world's going to have you. Amen. John 7, uh, 37, 38 says this. In the last days, the great day of feast, Jesus stood and he cried. He was loud and says, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth in me, as the scripture has said, says out of his belly, out of his yes. gut <laughs> shall flow uh, rivers. rivers of living water. Yes. Amen. Man, that Holy Spirit wants to be in you. That Holy Spirit wants to release that word, you know, and, and, and help you each and every way. But you know, you gotta have full of, you be gotta be full of the word and let it flow out of you. So it's the word that's gonna reach the people out there. Yeah. Amen. It's the word that's gonna put that enemy to flee. You know? Yes. When you when you when you submit to God, resist the devil, it means you're taking authority. It's time we take authority, child. God, you know, we, we just can't be bypassers. You know, we just can't stand by, you know, and let somebody else do it well, or his pastor can do it. Yeah. Or sister so and so, holy sister so and so, and holy brother so and so. No, well, what about you? He didn't put you here to be a loser. He put you here to be a champion. Amen. A warrior for him. Amen. Yeah. But we got to get the word in it so the word can come out of us. And if it's yes. not coming out of us, it's not his fault. Is our fault. We're just being too lazy. We're being yeah. too casual. Right. <laughs> We're being part time believers. Yeah. Amen. We can't do those things. Mm. John 6 35, well, excuse me, says, Minister from his overflow. Our attitude should be this stay hungry, mm -hmm. stay thirsty, and daily, daily, daily walk with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. If I'm walking with him, I ain't got no room for all these uh, distractions. That's it. And the enemy's going to see to it. He, he, he distracts you. He said, oh, he yeah. comes as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Mm -hmm. How does he know? Mm -hmm. Well, you're confessing the wrong things. Oh, yeah. When you're confessing the negative things instead of the positive things, you're opening the door for the enemy to come in and say, well, how, how did you get in here? <laughs> hey, you open the door. Uh, Real door. Well, you got to think about what you said. Well, I just said a few words. Words are carriers. Mm -hmm. Okay? They're containers and they carry seed. And those seeds are either positive or negative. And you either going to open the door or keep the door closed. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you got to put a guard on, on your mouth, especially if you're shooting it all the time. Yes. If you're going to shoot it, make sure you're shooting the right things, positive things, lively things, and not deadly things. Amen. <laughs> John 6, 35 says, And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger. And he who believeth in me shall never thirst. So, man, that's your answer right there. We got to stay with him. Yeah. We got to be on God's side. Amen. We got to stay on the winning side. You're on the winning side. But you got to feed on his word. Amen. You got to feed on his word. As we hunger and thirst for uh, him and walk with him, we draw closer to him. And his, he draw closest to us. Amen. James 4, uh, 4 and 8 says this in the King James. It says, draw, draw, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. We can't be double-minded. we gotta, we got to have no doubt in this. we got to say, Lord, I'm here. I'm yeah. committed. I'm going to seek you, like Matthew 6, 33. Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things shall be added on to you, but still have him first. On your priority list. We just started. Uh, we're only on the second month of, uh, of the new year. Yeah. Put him on top of your priority list. Mm -hmm. I know yeah. all of us have priorities. Every day you wake up, <coughs> you have a priority. What's your first priority? A cup of coffee? <laughs> What's your first priority? Please the world? First priority mm -hmm. should be, <laughs> thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's your first miracle right there. You woke up. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And say thank you. You know what else to say? Just say thank you, Lord. I need more of you. Wow. More of you each and every day. I need yeah. you more. More and more. Every day. Amen. Amen. All the time. Stay hungry. Stay hungry. Man. <laughs> so, well, I'm just going to talk about me, but I stay hungry all the time. And you can see I can lose a few. <laughs> when you know how much God loves you, we'll get a revelation of Father's love for us. Mm -hmm. We'll get a revelation of His love and His compassion 
you will hunger and thirst. Seek, love, and serve Him Amen. and walk with Him. Amen. You know, when you have God in you, you see things different. You see pe people, you see things, you see with love and compassion, with His love and His compassion. You know what I haven't done in a while? Oh my God. I have my Jesus glasses. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see Him? I'm wearing my Jesus glasses. <laughs> When we're wearing our Jesus glasses, one of the things you got to do is after you wake up and you say, hello, Jesus, I love you, Jesus, is put your Jesus glasses on. <laughs> and now I'm walking in his love and his compassion. So everything I see, I see different. Uh -huh. Amen. This is what we need to do. We need to catch this attitude. You know, I'm a child of God. And I'm gonna, if I'm going to put on, I put, put on my clothes. But you know what? Spiritually, I'm going to put on Jesus first. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to put him on first. And I got my Joe Cool glasses, Jesus glasses on. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. Glasses on. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. So, praise God. I know y'all want them, but uh, they mine. <laughs> and Satan tries to give you false discernment of God. He wants to put distractions in your way. He tries to put all these uh, roadblocks. He wants to booby trap you. Yeah. Amen. So you got to be careful. Warrior of God, soldier yes. of God. <laughs> the enemy's busy. He's going to try to take you out. Amen. So we need to we need to seek God, and the enemy's going to try to put distractions to stop uh -huh. your hunger and your thirst, and he's going to put worldly things in front of you so you can get full of the world instead of full of God. Amen. Next thing you know, it's a, well, I used to go there. Well, I used to uh, be a child of God, but not anymore, you know. You see, you hear that so much. That's, that's foolish. Amen. Let his love, let him love you and transform you as you give yourself to him and give him your best. Jesus, the, the where God says, for God so loved the world, he gave us his best. Mm -hmm. We talk about the best gift. God ever gave was Jesus. Amen. Yeah. So we need to, he gave his best. We need to give him our best. Yes. Not our second best, not a little bit, but all of your best. That's it. Amen. Amen. Give yourself. We're easily satisfied by worldly things. Come on. Amen. Or all me. <laughs> Jeremiah 2, uh, 2, 13 says this. For my people have committed two evils. They have abandoned me, rejected me, mm -hmm. the fountain of living water. Yeah. And they have carved out their lives, own cisterns, broken, cracked cisterns that yeah. cannot hold water. Oh, wow. The uh, commentary English version says, you people have sinned two ways. You have rejected me, the source of life, mm. giving water. And you have tried to collect waters in cracked and leaking pits dug in the ground. So, don't be a leaky part-time believer. Mm. I guarantee you, if you don't get full and stay full with the word, it's gonna leak out. Because you go into a negative world all the time and you around negative people, impatient people, <laughs> ungodly people, and they're gonna drain you. And if you're not in the word, Mm -hmm. It's going to affect you in the wrong way. Yeah. So next thing you know is you're going to say, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to give in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to join them. No, you don't want to do that. You got to stay filled with the word. Yes. Feed your spirit, the word of God. Renew your mind with the word of God and crucify your flesh because mm -hmm. your flesh wants to kill them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your flesh all of a sudden has a rage on it and wants to lay hands on somebody. Mm -hmm. Like hurt somebody. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Amen. So only way to calm that is stay filled with the word of God to overflowing all the time. Not just once in a while. We got to keep doing this. We got to keep doing this over and over and over. Don't, we don't retain the word always leaking out. Remember Proverbs 8, 21, leak, uh, speaking, or excuse me, death, life, and the power of the tongue. Yeah. Leaking, speaking, wrong words. Mm. Amen. Death, negative. Mm -hmm. And you're going to start, when you're confessing it, you're mm -hmm. going to start copying what mm -hmm. it says. And you're going to start living what it says. 
but let's not do that. Matthew 12, 37 says, For by the words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So we've got to renew our minds and stay attached, stay committed, stay involved, devoted and hungry, and walk with him more and more daily. Amen? So he is our living, he is our fountain of living water. Stay full so fresh water can flow from us, his word, to the lost world. Well, I don't know what to say. Well, you know what? If you've been feeding on the word, you're going to know what to say. That's it. It's going to come out of you. It's in there. Amen. What would Jesus say? <laughs> what would Jesus do? Amen. We need to remind us this. You know, this was a popular thing a while back. And, you know, everybody forgot about it now. <laughs> what would Jesus do? Sometimes we've got to ask ourselves that. Well, you know, he was God's son. <laughs> well, he says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us so we need his strength and we need him and we need to get filled with him so we can yeah. start confessing the right Amen. things to people they want to hear the right things not the wrong things right right amen and don't don't join the wrong crowd you hang around with skunks you soon you're going to start mm -hmm. smelling like them uh -huh, uh -huh. don't don't do that mm. amen i say no i just renew my mind with the word of god Amen. and start doing what the word of god tells me to do yes Woo. Hunger and thirst for more of Him. Mm -hmm. Can't say that enough. Amen. John 7, 37 and uh, 38. We just read a few minutes ago. But it says, In the last days of the great feast, Jesus stood and cried. And he was loud. If any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. He he that believeth in me, as the scripture says, Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Not only that. As leaky Christians, we've got to hang around with the potter. Because mm -hmm. the potter is going to fix all them cracks. Yeah. <laughs> As you get filled with the Word of God, they're going to find all these cracks and, mm. and just patch those cracks. Amen. Mm. Lord, I need your help. Yes. I need these these cracks filled. I need these cracks. When you these cracks start to uh, are mended, mm -hmm. then we can start retaining and yes. we can start serving Him yes. and doing for Him and going out yeah. and doing what He wants us to do. Yes. Amen. Thank so spend time with the Potter, and He will patch all the cracks. Amen. And make us new, new creatures in Christ. Second Corinthians five yes. seventeen. We're new creatures in Christ. The old is gone, new is in. Amen. So let's act that way. Amen. Yes. Opposite of hunger is what? Average. Mm -hmm. Of hunger, the opposite of hunger is satisfaction. Of mm -hmm. average, an enemy don't settle for average life. God wants us to launch from the bottom. To the yeah. past the, the, the middle, mm -hmm. past the top, to the top. To the top. Amen. Hunger more for more of him. Soaring is with eagles over all our problems. Amen. Amen. Not being lukewarm, you know, hey, that's that's the middle part, you know. Hey, yes. I like it nice and comfy. Mm -mm -mm. I just want to be lukewarm and happy here. You know, I can have the world and I can have a little mm -hmm. God. No, he says he's a jealous God. And he says, I'd rather have you cold or hot. That's but it. not lukewarm. Don't try to play that That's game with him. Amen. 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 We don't feel strong desires for the manifestation of, uh, of the glory of God. It's because we have not been hungering and thirsting for more of him. If you just say, well, you know, I'm just like the world, you know, I don't feel anything. I have no desire for him. I, mm. you know, then you need, you lost your Mm -hmm. relationship you, yes. you're no longer walking with him yes. you're no longer filling yourself with yes. the word of god you're no longer thirsting or hunger for more mm -hmm. of him you're just letting yourself go yeah and that's what most <laughs> believers wants to be the world is just saying well I don't, you know hey there's nothing after this so mm -hmm. i'm just gonna play it safe and just mm -hmm. do nothing mm -hmm. no we gotta plant ourselves yes. and get thirsty and hungry for him yes. amen i can't say that enough we've been nibbling too long at the table of the world. We're stuffed with small, small, small worldly things, mm -hmm. and there's no room for great things, great oh, blessings my. from God. Yeah. We get we get ourselves filled with the wrong things. Mm -hmm. We got to fill ourselves with the things of God. Yes. When we get ourselves filled with the things of God, uh -huh. we'll be satisfied. Yeah. We'll be happy, and when we're full of God, He's our strength. He's yes. our joy. Yes. And we can do all things through him. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. So, a couple of great examples of hunger and thirst for, for, uh, for, for him and walking with God. Mm -hmm. I think I we left off here last week where he says, uh, Genesis 5, 24. If you never read about Enoch, who is Enoch? Enoch's in the Bible. Only have 
couple of things about him. It says Enoch walked with God, then he was gone. <laughs> because God took him away. His whole life, he was close to God. He stayed hungry, thirsty, and he walked with God. Yes. What do you think about that? Walking one day with God, and all of a sudden, you're gone. What happened to Enoch? God took him. If God takes you, hey, praise God, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> That's okay. The world probably be glad, glad to see you go. <laughs> the man, I don't have to hear him anymore. I don't have to hear her anymore. They're gone. <laughs> but you know, as long as I'm here, they're going to hear me. Because I have to hear all their negative stuff, you know. I hear it. I don't have to do it. <laughs> but they have to hear what I have to say. Amen. Okay, you say what you have to say. Now let me say what I need to say. And say it. Amen. Amen. Don't just hold back. Noah, Genesis 6 and 9 mm -hmm. says, we read, Noah was a good man. Mm -hmm. The most innocent man of his time. He walked with God. Mm -hmm. We know about the story. Noah listened to God and obeyed. He stayed hungry, thirsty, and walked with God. Mm -hmm. God used him mightily. Yes. Amen. Noah didn't know a whole lot. Mm -hmm. God told him, he says, uh, I'm going to send a flood. He said, what's a flood? And mm -hmm. then he said, I want you to build me an ark. He said, mm -hmm. what's an ark? Mm -hmm. I never built an ark before. And then you got all these animals to come in, in the ark. Yeah. How do you call all these animals? Mm -hmm. How do you keep them? You know, it takes a lot of patience. Yeah. <laughs> and it takes a lot of trust. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> trust God, amen. He does it if we line up with him mm -hmm. and be obedient to him. Yes. He makes all these things work. It worked for yeah. them, it'll work for us. That's right. I mean, well, it'll work for them. You know, they're special. No, they just had a hunger and a thirst for more yes, of God and yes. make themselves available, yes. we can do the same thing. And He'll use us and He'll put these things together. We don't have to reason it out how it's going to work. It. We just have to trust Him. Amen. Amen. I read this to the church a few minutes ago and it says, faith in God includes faith in His timing. Mm -hmm. So whatever His timing is, however He does it, it's going to be good. It's going to yes. be right. Yeah. We just have to have faith. Amen. <laughs> and the Bible also talks about in Hebrews, it says, Without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Amen. So you might as well get on the right, mm -hmm. right page, you know, and start yeah. pleasing Him. Have Amen. faith in Him. <laughs> Trust Him. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Jeremiah seven twenty three says, "This is what I've, uh, I've told them: Obey me, and I will be your God, and you will be my people. Mm -hmm. Only do as I say, and all will be well." Amen. Amen. There you go. Write that down. Jeremiah seven twenty three. This I have told him, obey. And I will be your God and you will be my people. Do as I say and all will be well. Mm -hmm. He says, we're his people. You're a child of God. So don't see yourself the way the world sees you. See yourself the way God sees you. Mm -hmm. You're a winner. You're a champion. You're an overcomer. All these things. Because he says so. He says, if I'm your God, you're my people. Mm -hmm. Have you received it? You know? It's never too late. You receive him, you know, and be a child of God now and start going and pressing and going for him, hungering and thirsting for more and more of him. Because he's not finished with as long as you're in this world, Amen. you got a mission. Yeah. Amen. You got a mission. You got a journey to go through until he calls you home. Or until he raptures us and we're gone with him. Stay hungry and thirsty and walk with God Amen. as we obey him and continue to be his people. Yeah. Don't let nobody tell you any different of who you are or you're no good or nobody and uh -huh. things like this. You know, it's time to let the past go. That's it. It's time to put those things out. Cleanse your mind. Renew your mind yes. to those things. Regardless of how they see you, uh -huh. can't please people. That's it. I'm going to go with what God thinks about Amen. me. And, and, and I'm going to be a God pleaser mm -hmm. and not a people pleaser. Because they're going to say things anyway. We are invited to walk with God for our own sake. <laughs> he adopted us. He brought us into into His His, his world. You know, say Hey, Amen. you know, for God so loved the world, He said Jesus. Jesus, he, he He told His disciples, He got this grace feast going on. He says, Go and invite all these people. Yeah. And too many made excuses. Oh, you know, I just bought some land. You know, I need to go yeah. check it out. Well, why didn't you check it out before you bought it? <laughs> And then another one says, I bought uh, these oxen, you know, I need to go check them out. The, why didn't you check them before you bought them? Mm -hmm. I mean, that don't make any sense. But excuses makes a lot of sense, you know. <laughs> well, I ain't got time for you right now, God. Everything's going smooth. And, you know, I don't need you right now. 
<laughs> we, we, have, we, we need to accept them. Then he said, then he told them, he said, you know what? Go in the highways or byways and invite yes. anybody and everybody. You know why? Because there's room in the kingdom for everybody. For yeah. God so loved the world. He the didn't world. say just a certain group. That's he didn't it. say just a certain color. He didn't say, well, you know, just the rich. Mm -hmm. He says, for God so loved the world. Yeah. All those that receive him and accept him, he died mm -hmm. for all souls, not yeah. just for all colors now, or all denominations, whatever yes. denomination. You know, such saying and mentioned in the Bible about denominations. Yeah. Come on now. We're the body Take of Christ. Back. We're the body of Christ. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We're brothers and sisters in Christ, whether you believe it or not, or you've been taught wrong. We're brothers and sisters in Christ, and we are the body of Christ, the church yes. going somewhere to right. re reconcile people back to Christ. Amen. Amen. And you can do all these things. We can do all these things. See yourself that way, and you see yourself a winner. Yeah. See yourself the way he sees you, Amen. not the way the world labels you. But Praise God has labeled you. You're my child. You're my. You, you, you're 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 mine. Amen. So we are walking in His love, and we're walking in His love and mm -hmm. His compassion. Yes. Amen. And nothing can shake you from that as long Amen. as you stay filled and thirsty and hungry yes. and walking with Him on a daily Amen. basis. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Micah Praise six God. and eight again. It says in the Amplified, He has shown you, O oh man, what is good. And what does the world, what does the Lord require of you but to do justly yes. and to love kindness and mercy yes. and to humble yourself That's and it. walk humbly with God. God. Amen. I'd rather walk with mm. Him, you know, than to walk with mm. anything else. All right. But being aware of God's power and of His grace. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I have a scripture for you and you can write that down. It says, Lamentations 3.23 says what? says the Lord's mercies are new every morning. Yes. All you have to do is experience those new mercies mm -hmm. and stay hungry for Him Amen. and walk in, with Him every day. Yes. Amen. New every day. All the time. Yes. Not just sometimes, but all the time. Yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Matthew 6, 23 says this. Jesus said to His disciples, mm -hmm. If any of you want to be My followers, you must turn from your selfish ways, deny yourself, take up your cross, mm -hmm. and follow me. All right. And you can write this down. Mark 8, 34 and 35 in the King James says this. And when he had talked to his people unto him, when he had called these people unto him and his disciples also, he said unto them, Whoever will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Mm -hmm. 35 says... For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for me, my sake, and the gospel, uh -huh. the same shall save it. The same shall save it. Mm. 36 says, For what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Yes. Those are powerful words. Amen. But that? we must, uh, Mark 8, 34 and 30 through 36. Oh, okay. And these, were, these are strong words. We must... Oh, uh, understand and live by them. Amen. Uh -huh. Take up your cross, child of God, and let's follow Him. Amen. Mm. Praise God. We can do all things. Amen. Listen to this. We live in a day of casual, part time oh, Christians. I'm not talking about the world, I'm talking about Christians. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, casual Christian, part time Christian. Mm -hmm. Remember, no part, no part time Christian <laughs> is good enough. To defeat a full time devil. That's it. Oh gosh. That devil is full time. He'll have your lunch. And he'll have you in a heartbeat. You're fighting a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. Physically, it's no match. Mm -hmm. You need a full time work field believer. Mm -hmm. Amen. To defeat a full time devil. Because it's a spiritual battle and we can't do it physically. We got to do it in the, with the word. Amen. Praise God. We want warm, fuzzy sermons on Sunday <laughs> that will carry us throughout the week and we'll come again and try to do it again. <laughs> Hunger, thirst, and seek more of Him. Be a strong Christian and not a casual part-time one. If you want to be a strong follower, deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow Him. Sacrifice. 
passion involves sacrifice, passion, and risk. If you're going to sacrifice, deny yourself. If it takes passion, take up your cross. And if it's going to risk, it says, follow me. Amen? <laughs> you can't be around your little friends and try to hide and be a casual Christian and only be a Sunday morning Christian. Because they're going to talk their talk. And what are you going to say? What are your words and your actions going to be? You got to be for real. Amen. You got to stand strong. You got to deny yourself, take up your cross, and you go follow me. Mm -hmm. And be Christ like. In Ephesians, it talks to us to imitate Christ. Not just on Sundays, <laughs> but every day. Mm -hmm. be, be Christ like. And we can do it. But we yeah. got to feed on Him so we yeah. can have His strength to continue. Jesus yeah. came on a mission and He knew He was going to sacrifice. But he needed his father's strength on a daily basis yes, to, to fulfill what he had to do. Yes. And it took a lot of strength for him to go to the father and say, yeah. Father, forgive him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He had love and compassion when he saw us, when he saw a lost world. Yeah. But he went to the father and he told him, Father, forgive him. Amen. Yeah. That took a lot of strength. We need, if Jesus needed the father, if Jesus needed that strength, uh -huh. so do we. So do we. Amen. Because this world has no mercy. I mean, they want to eat your lunch on their end of heartbeat. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, to be my disciples, you must deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. The cross of passion, the love the, of love and compassion. Yes. That's your cross. As Jesus said, well, I say uh, cross, I use my Jesus glasses. <laughs> the love of compassion Jesus did and many who have gone before us, we must do. We must pick up our cross yes. and follow Him. Amen? Amen? So praise God. To experience God's best in our lives, we must make a deep commitment to walk with God, get closer to Him, stay hungry and thirsty for more of Him, imitate Him, and be as much Christ-like as we possibly can. Uh -huh. Amen? So let's remember this. To walk in His supernatural, Yeah. His super with our natural. All we need right. to make a stronger commitment. Yes. Stay hungry again. Thirsty and walk with Him daily. Uncommitted Christians become stale and boring. We become casual, part-time, and leaky, leaky Christians. Yeah. We can't do that, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to encourage you Amen. not to do this, you know? And how do we do this? How we deny this? How we overcome this? By feeding in the Word, having relationship with Him, and staying strong in the Word. Seek Him, not only in prayer, but by reading His Word, and getting in His Word, amen, and applying His Word, and speaking His Word, amen, amen. and obeying what He tells us to do. Yes. God wants our lives to have meaning. He wants our walk with Him to be exciting, yes. and, joy and enjoyable, yes. amen. Great example, Paul and Silas. Man, they been out doing the work of God. And they got caught and, and put in the prison. Mm -hmm. Way down in the dungeon. Yeah. And they got beat bad. Yes, they did. Amen. But still, at the midnight hour, he says, they were singing praises unto God. Amen. Amen. And God heard him. Yes, and he did. came and he answered. And he showed up. He'll do the same for you. Yeah. Amen. He'll do the same for you. He wants... Our walk with Him to be exciting, enjoyable. He wants our relationship with Him to be a delight and not hard work. If I'm going to do anything, I'm going to do it unto Him. Colossians tells us, if you could, whatever you do, do it as unto God. Because if we do it unto men, if we do it unto men, we want something in return. But if you do it out of kindness, if you do it out of love, it's done. It's paid for. God has already paid for it. And I'm doing, Lord, I'm doing this under you. I'm not doing it under man. I don't need any payback. I don't need no 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 pat on my back or whatever. I need just to know that I'm doing it under you. And I'm happy. And I'm satisfied. Amen. Remember that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Stay charged. Stay focused. Stay hungry for more of Him. Matthew 5 and 6 in the Amplified says, Blessed and fortunate and happy and spiritually prosperous are those who hunger and thirst for more of Him. Amen. So praise God. Whew, I know I need to close here. 
He has given us four good reasons to be hungry and thirsty as we walk with Him, requiring for more of Him. We are blessed, we'll be blessed, we'll be fortunate, we'll be happy, and we'll be spiritually prosperous. Amen. So we'll continue to uh, hunger and thirst for Him. We'll become refreshed. We'll become empowered. Amen. He'll empower us to over, uh, <laughs> overcome every hard time. Yes. And uh, might those things that might arise in our lives. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So stay focused, stay encouraged, no matter what might be happening around Amen. us. Stay connected yes. to the vine. Amen. Amen. Again, say, uh, 2 Timothy 1.7 uh, says, For well, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. And in closing, John Amen. 1 John 4, 4, 4 says this, For you, beloved God, for you, beloved to God, my dear children, you have already won a victory uh -huh. over those people because the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world. And that is Satan. Amen. Amen. So we must take authority over him and we must use it. We won't uh, back off unless you take he won't back off unless you take the authority That's it. he does it not <laughs> take breaks he's a full time devil Yeah. and part time Christians yeah. is no match to a full time devil That's it. amen so you know what I need to stop being this mm -hmm. and you need to stop being this mm -hmm. let's stop pretending Yes. and let's stop being, stop being part time Jesus didn't mm -hmm. come to be a part time savior mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He came to be a full time Amen. Savior and still is. Amen. Yes. And that's our greatest example. So we yes, must yes. continue to bless him and, and, and serve him. John 10 10 says, Satan came, and this is his mission. Satan mm -hmm. uh, came to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. So that's Jesus' mission back then. He fulfilled his mission. Yes, we must stay hungry and thirsty for him and will walk in total victory. Yes. Will cause us to triumph over every attack of our enemy. Uh huh. We can't allow ourselves to become satisfied, normal, or average. Hunger and thirst for more of Him, uh, for more of God every day of our lives as we continue to walk with Him daily. Amen. So Amen. praise God. It blessed me. I don't know if you got yes. something from it, but I hope you did. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Daily, daily, daily walking with Him. Amen. Amen. And God's not finished with you. Yes, those of you that are, are watching, those of you that are listening, uh, He's not finished with you. Yes, you know, you started this new year. And if you haven't accepted Christ, now's the time. Yeah. All you need to do is say, hey, I'm tired of doing this by myself. Yeah. You don't have to. That's you it. have a Savior. Amen. Yes. And all you have to do is, is just confess Him as you Lord and Savior. And say, yes. Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Uh -huh. And you know what? He'll embrace you just like the prodigal son and father embracing him and say, welcome back home. Yeah. Now, it's time for you to find your Bible-based Bible -based church where uh -huh. you can start learning the Word of God. Yes. Get you a Bible, start reading the Word and learning the Word and pressing out and going out for Him uh -huh. on a daily basis. Seeking more, staying hungry, and, and, and staying connected to Him. Amen? Amen. So let's remember that He can do it for you. If you're sick, I just canceled all those malfunctions in your body because the Bible says that by Jesus stripes you're healed. You're healed. So whatever yeah. malfunctions you have, whatever Satan yeah. is coming against you, I cancel those in the name of Jesus. Yeah. The Bible says by Jesus stripes you're healed. Amen. I lay hands on myself all the time. Say by Jesus stripes I am healed. Mm -hmm. So body, I speak to my body. Say body, line up with the word of God. Yes. Be healed. Receive your healing Amen. now. Yes. I receive my healing. Amen. You receive your healing. Amen. Amen. Receive your healing because you are healed. Everything can be functioning the way God created it to function Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And it's time to give. Yeah. <laughs> praise God. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Yes. <laughs> Those of you watching, listening, just uh, go to our website. A song that should be on the screen. Your website, nbcbigben.com. And hit that donate button. Amen. If you're mailing it, P.O. Box, NBC P.O. Box uh, 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And uh, cash app at New Beginnings Church of the Lord. <coughs> Praise God. God loves you. We love you. And keep pressing on and staying hungry, hungry and thirsty and daily walking with Him each and every day. God bless you. We love you. Amen.